Ah. Okay, there's smoke. Calm down. Where is she? Where did they take her? They took her to the holding cells on the lower floor. Hurry! Okay. Okay. Action time. Better get back to the surface. No! Not until I find her! Break more! Yeah. Help! By the god, this way, Guardian! Oh, hold on! The Guardian is here! We're coming! Dragonborn, help! I can't go on. Save her, Guardian! Please! Okay, gotta go through there. Sorry, Guardian, I truly am. But it's nothing personal. I hope you can appreciate that. You gotta look out for number one, right? I only wanted Bruma County. Nothing more. Rigmore means nothing to me. She never has. Used to get right up my nose. She would just never shut up. The amount of shit I had to listen to. She would just go on and on and on. <laughs> Did she ever do that with you? Yes, of course. I'm sure she did. <laughs> and I'll bet you felt the same as me. Yes, she would ramble on and on and I would smile and feign interest. When all I really wanted to do was just punch her in that fucking mouth. It took everything in me not to stuff her fucking mouth with my fist. <laughs> she always was a whiny little cunt. I'm sure you'll agree. Thank you, Bobby. Now go. Tell them the Countess is alive and well, and luckily she had already left for Roskria. We will arrange the wedding as soon as possible. Once you become Count of Bruma, we'll arrange something nice for her. And then you can get yourself a proper wife. I must give Bobby a nice, slow, meaningful death for talking about Rigmore like that. He's such utter scum. Dragonborn? 
Dragonborn? Dragonborn? Not the brightest candle in the stack either, are we? Again, you have proven yourself to be way out of your depth. I expected so much more from you. All those big words. What was it you called me again? Don't you find it also paradoxical that you, Tamriel's most powerful killing machine, is reduced to a shameful, obsolete wretch? Twice now you have placed Rigmore in mortal danger, and what's really tragic is right now, when she does need you, you're not there for her. It truly is heartbreaking, because she really is a great girl, and she's been through so much. After our last little meeting, I was so angry with myself. Oh, believe me, I wanted to hurt her because of you. I was thinking of you in that filthy cell as I hacked away at her beautiful hair. Then she began to cry. I wasn't expecting that. Then when I stood behind her and ripped her dress almost completely in two, she tried to dignify her modesty by crossing her arms. And then I saw it. From that moment, we became sisters. No, lovers. She moved me. I felt every single lash she felt, and I wanted to cry with her. I wanted to hold her close, tightly in my arms, and tell her everything will be okay. Don't cry. Shh. No one is ever going to hurt you again. Shh. For I am now your guardian and protector, and no man shall ever place his hands on you. From this moment, you are eternally mine. Sadly, this is where we say goodbye. Don't worry about Rigmore. She's in safe hands now. Oh, here. I thought you might appreciate a small gift. It's a lock of Rigmore's hair. Well, actually, it was a lock of her hair. Still... No need to thank me. By the way, these labyrinths under the city are ancient, but this one has a particular something special. One of a kind, literally. I do hope you brought a torch with you. You'll need it. But here, take mine just in case. When you do come face to face with death, I would hate for you not to be able to see it coming. Okay. Well, goodbye, Dragonborn. Before, when they were up there, I used unrelenting force on them, and that aggroed them and made them fall in here with me. But of course, that broke the quest. So here we are. Okay. Okay. I don't know what the hell's going on here. We can't move there. I don't know why we can't fucking move there. Okay, that got past it. I don't know what the hell that was. We couldn't move through there. Okay, I'm gonna save it on this side of the shit. Okay, it did crash again. Because I tried to look at the map. So we're not allowed to look at the map. I don't know 
what that is, but... Okay, um, so we have a maze we've got to get through. Without looking at the map. Maybe the dead bodies. Just follow the dead bodies. They're all got torches. If we didn't have the lantern, I'd have to gr keep grabbing torches, I suppose. Okay, yeah. Come out, come out, wherever you are. A lot of bodies here. Okay, I think I've made it through the maze. Dova King. Come forth into the light. Al-Esh has smiled on me this day. She promised me you would come. You're a minotaur. In a labyrinth. Makes sense. I am Lord Morbalhaza. Okay. Because of the prophecy of Al-Ash, she is waiting. Waiting for? Al-Ash is my celestial mother. She is waiting for me to return to the stars. Um, you're not extinct? I... I'm the last of my kind. Once, for many, and thrived all over Tamriel. al Esh looked down and she was pleased. We lived here in peace and flourished. Many amongst the jewel-encrusted cities of ancient Cyrodiil. Our wings carrying us up high into far-off lands, we were the children of al Esh. And like winged horn gods, we played amongst the stars and took our place amongst the many people. But the hearts of men became dark and they came to fear us. We were shunned, reduced to the status of beasts and monsters, and we retreated into the dark caves and forests of the land. For thousands of years, we watched their empires rise and fall, the elven kingdoms come and go, mighty dwarven citadels crumble in ruin. But we were the blight of Min and Myr. We became trophies and sport for the arena, and we were hunted down relentlessly without mercy until we were on the verge of extinction. I, Lord Morbelhaza, gathered the last of us, and we rose up to defend our very existence. But, 
They were too many. All but a few, including the little ones, perished. And they captured and enslaved us. They tore off our wings and imprisoned us in these ancient labyrinths. Our anguish cries sounding the passing of our kind rose up into the heavens. Alesh heard our cries and was angry, and she cursed the land. All that sought to reign over it would never find peace until her children were free. Tamriel would plunge into ruin, decadence, and perpetual war, everlasting. Akintosh pleaded that she release the curse while Morlag Bal laughed. Now, I am the last. Alesh is calling, and I have been waiting for the coming of a half-beast. One of my kind to free Lord Morbalhaza and release the curse. And it will signal the beginning of a new golden age and the arrival of a chosen queen of Tamriel. Okay. You want me to kill you? Release me from this living hell so that I can return to my celestial realm. To Alash and my people. Free my soul so that I can return to my loved ones and soar amongst the stars complete and whole again. Strike quickly, my brother, then take my heart and place it in the fire, and you will be free to leave this place. Okay. Hurry. Alash is waiting. Hmm. Yeah. It's the same exit. Okay, so we gotta go back to Skyrim. 